And there's like cute little, say, you know, little craft shops, souvenir shops. I mean, you know, all sorts of stuff. Here on the right hand side, I'll have you slow down a second, Billy, as well. You'll see the jail there on the right hand side. You know, basically, same old, same old. Uh, Angel in the Holler kind of has some like cutesy little gifts inside. There's also a Lex outlet store here. This um, Iron Kettle restaurant here is pretty good. They're the only ones that's open now because they're the only ones that serve breakfast. Now you see there's a Tennessee Walking Horse Museum which just moved down here. And if you have an interest in walking horse and seeing how they are, you can pop, you can pop inside there. There's a small admission charge. There's a small bank here on the right-hand side, the Farmer's Bank. Don't show them British currency. They'll just look at you like, who are you? What planet are you from? Um, here's the candy kitchen where they have the Jack Daniels truffles and cakes, and they also have lots of little, little mustards and things like that. This Lynchburg Pharmacy, they got little, you know, a few little things like a normal pharmacy. They also have an old-fashioned lunch counter like you see in the, in the 1950s home. <laughs> here's the visitor center. And now let me just tell you how this is going to go. Here's the actual uh, visitor center. It looks like it's been here forever. It's been here since the year 2000. It's really did a nice job, actually. Now let me tell you what's how this is going to work.
When all was said and done, what it adds up to is this. Jack Daniels, Tennessee Sitting Whiskey. If a batch ever turns out to be anything less than a perfect reflection of Uncle Jack's old original recipe, Jimmy Bedford will not allow it to be mine. Plain and simple. Because while time does change whiskey, it hasn't changed the way we make it. For those of us who spend our days here in Lynchburg supplying a thirsty world with Jack Daniels, this work is more than just a job. <coughs> it's what we do. As you tour the distillery, we ask you to keep a few common sense safety rules in mind. First off, stay with your tour guide at all times and listen to directions. Whiskey vapors are highly flammable, so there's no smoking on tour at any time. For the same reason, flash photography is not allowed in some areas. Please watch for the signs. The tour includes some steps and walking up and down inclines. So make sure you're up to smoke. We'll take it slow and easy. That's always been the Jack Daniels way. And finally, weather conditions can make walking surfaces slippery. So please be careful. Anyway, we appreciate your taking the time to come down and pay us a visit. Please enjoy your stay. And when you get home, wherever your home may be, we hope you'll think of us from time to time. Come back soon, won't you? soup in there. And then we've got a big propeller like a sturgeon. They're our type of steel that are continuous flow. So we got one individual tank, so regardless of how many of these we empty daily, that flow's got a continuous move to the steel. You can't just empty one tank and get another. Then once they go to pull this in six days, so many gallons here is held back to add to the yeast, get the starter activated. It's like sourdough bread. So we're saying five gallon of beer makes one gallon of whiskey. But once we get all the byproducts, all the alcohol out, they turn it into livestock. <laughs>